Okay, so tonight we're going to focus on a fun technique that's called a uh, chalkboard technique. And you'll see a lot of this. It's real popular right now. If you look on Pinterest and everything, you'll see a lot of this black and white print. And it's purposely made to look like it's on a chalkboard. So sometimes it'll be a little bit smeared. And it's just a real fun and trendy way thing to do right now. So I'm going to show you how to create that look with Close to My Heart products and how to add it to your uh, paper crafting things. So first of all, um, you're going to use the White Daisy pigment pad. And I always, normally I tell people you don't need a reinker. But with the pigment one, I do recommend you go ahead buy your reinker when you buy your pad because it's more like a paint and you kind of use it a little bit more and you're going to want to re-ink it um, pretty frequently. I'll just show you right here on the corner of it what it looks like when you re-ink it. You just put a little bit here. Whoops, it had a bubble. And it kind of looks like a paint. Oh, you know what? You're not seeing that very well. Let me see. Can you see? See, it kind of, there, a drop of it on there. And I just use the tip of it to kind of rub it around to get it to kind of soak into the pad. If I was doing the whole pad, I would go all over the whole pad and just get it to sink in there. Um, you won't need to do it every time you use the pad, but because it's more like a paint, you will need to do it more often than normal. So you'll want the White Daisy ink pad, you'll want the reinker, and then we also have this fun chalk marker, and so it writes like chalk on the paper. Isn't that fun? So you can do little doodles with it. There's lots of uh, crosshatch things that are real popular on there. If you notice when you start with the marker, if we start at the top, like say I do a big letter D, as I go down it kind of gets a little bit lighter. I don't know if it shows up in the camera. Because when you first start your pen you have plenty of ink and then the more you do it. But you can go over and over it. So if you have a light spot, just go over that spot again until it's as dark as you want it to be. That's kind of fun. I've had a lot of fun with the marker. You can do little polka dots with it, little, you know, curly cues. It's just a real fun thing, real dramatic look. So that's the chalk marker. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a couple ways to use this. First of all, on this card here, I just took this one stamp and just ink it up. You're going to tap it up and down on your stamp pad. Just make sure you've got the the ink everywhere and then you'll want to use firm pressure and just kind of center it. I can't look right above it or I'll stick my head in the camera so you'll have to forgive me if mine's crooked tonight. Now this is pretty wet when I finish this so if I touch this and I put my finger over I am going to smear it everywhere. So you do want to let it dry. It has a little bit more dry time than normal. If you do any um, heat embossing and you have a heat tool or a blow dryer, you could uh, speed up the process by doing that. Otherwise, when I'm making a card, I do this first, set it aside, let it dry while I put together my card. And you can see on the sample I did here that I added the little polka dots with the white daisy marker. Another fun uh, part of the chalkboard technique is they kind of have it where it's like, um, you know, like when you go to a restaurant and there's all sorts of stuff all over the chalkboard and they'll have writing all different directions. Graffiti is the word, I guess. It's kind of graffiti writing. So you could sit there and you could do each individual stamp. Let me show you. If you wanted that kind of look on here. So it has like hip hip hooray, happy birthday. It's just kind of an eclectic little look there. You could stamp every image by itself or you could save yourself some time and put them all on one block at one time. These stamps happen to be from the um, one of the stamp sets that you get with the Artiste Cricut cartridge. So I just pulled a few of the little stamps off of there and stuck them all on one block together. And then now you can either take your stamp and walk it across the pad because it's kind of a big stamp or you can take your stamp pad in your hand and ink it up this way to get this big stamp. Just want to make sure you get ink everywhere and then put it on there and you just want to use firm pressure and then when you have a big stamp like this with lots of images on it you just want to make sure you push in all the different areas to try and get that to go down. 
And then you have that fun chalkboard idea. So now I'm going to show you a few ways that, um, that you can implement it on your pages or your um, cards. Like I showed you this card before, which is really cute. I also want to show you the same card. And all I did different was I used our new fabric. And look how much that adds to that card. The fabric, we have it in two different packages. We have one that matches our Chantilly paper pack. So it has three different prints in here. Got the pink, the green, and the yellow. And I used the green on that one, obviously. <laughs> um, we also have the For Always one. And these are fun because this will just go with anything because it's the black and white prints. I love the polka dye. Isn't that cute? So that's a fun thing you can do on your pages or your um, cards is just add a little bit of fabric to it just to add. Just, just look how much it pops with that fabric on there. Here's another card where I've... I used the fabric to make the center of the flower here. And all this card needs is a saying. So we can use that same chalkboard technique. I pre-cut some images from the art philosophy cartridge. And look how cute that is. You can pop that right on there. That says congratulations. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer. There you go. And this, I showed this one on purpose because I wanted to show you this great stamp set. This is our top selling stamp set. I think it was for all of 2012. It's called Card Word Puzzle. And I don't know if you'll be able to read any of them on there. But it has retirement, congratulations, bridal shower, happy, belated, because, um, think. You can like, so you can create a whole like uh, a saying. And so I did a few of these on here to show you. Like here I put bridal shower. And this would be great like on a scrapbook page. Like pretend this is a, a mini scrapbook page. You can put bridal shower on here and then have a picture of the bridal shower. Um, you have the little tabs. You could put it on a tab and stick it next to a photo. On the edge here I just took the pen and went around it. And I want to show you a real quick trick on how to mount these on a block. So they're kind of tiny, and sometimes it's hard to line things up. So what I do is if you take your stamp and you put it down on your work surface, however you want it. So that says retirement. Let me see if I can find happy real quick. So I say, sorry, you're retiring. We're going to miss you. Here's happy. So I lay it down here on my work surface, and I know this is far from the camera, but when I'm looking at it right now, it says happy retirement. And then I can take my block and just set it right on top of it. And then it's all lined up exactly how I want it. And I can take a paper to put it on there. Now, these are really tiny little letters. So you want to use a much gentler... If I push really hard and sink it into this stamp pad, it's going to be an ooey-gooey mess. And then same with stamping it. It's just a light, gentle pressure and then you've got happy retirement. So this is a fun stamp set and a, a way for you to put them on the blocks to make it easy for you. Okay, um, let's see, a couple more samples. Here's a fun little uh, frame. I got this at Ikea, and this actually unscrews and comes off. And I just slipped a piece of black paper in it, and then on the other side, see how I smeared it? That's another part of that chalkboard look. If you smear it a little bit, it looks like it has been erased and put back on there. And then I just decorated it with paper and some more of our ribbon. And then one more here. Here's a scrapbook page. And I did the, I put Oh Happy Day there, but I'm going to put this little flower over it. And I added some little embellishment with the marker. So I hope you've enjoyed those tips and ideas using our chalkboard uh, chalk marker and the fabric and like look see right here fabric fabric <laughs> and uh, so come on back to the party page and let me know if there was something here that you saw that you think you might want to add to your next project see you soon